Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2, the world championship that we never had. In the bottom left, the Red Zerg, ranked one by a pretty large margin right now. The finisher, it is Cyril. And the Terran with a Cinderella story throughout I Am Katowice. Happy not to meet that particular opponent on the other side, but just a normal man who's had some great days. It's Olivera. This series here in the World Team League Kung Fu Cup, a best of five, to potentially give us a taste of what that Forbidden Championship might have looked like. Uh, but we will see. Right now, Cyril, as he has been for most of the last several years, is looking unbeatable for everyone but Zergs. Olivera? has proven himself as a top-tier Terran. Um, but still, has a titanic task ahead of him. So, if you want an alternate history, if you want to go back and change the timeline, just in general, not for StarCraft II, just, just would reach wide on this one, then like and subscribe. Now, Jimmy, what? 1,046 1, likes. If we get 1,046 likes on this video, I'll cast another series probably tomorrow. I'll probably do it anyways, but thank you for tuning in. I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. Honestly, it did. Well, uh, no time for honesty. Only murder. Okay, back to honesty time. Um, Oliveira, it, it did feel a bit like a fluke on that day, but since then, he has put up a great set of results against especially Zerg players. Uh, and proven that he can hang with the best. Remember at I Am Kedavice, he was ranked 21. He's now uh, right around that top 10. Of course, a world championship will bump you up a bit, but uh, I think he truly does have some of the best, most stable... I, if I had to compare him with another player, and this is a compliment, it's Cure. Uh, he, cure, but with a, a more of a killer instinct. Cure is definitely... Uh, a methodical player, but Oliveira has some very sharp timing attacks he can pull and, and end up taking the game with. But overall, he's not hes not afraid, especially against the Zerg, to let it go a little later. Thank you again, the World Team League, putting on these amazing Kung Fu Cups, $1,500 weekly tournaments, which is kind of crazy. Uh, getting all the best players out here. Even Cyril shows up for these. Cyril doesn't deem himself. He doesn't come down... Uh, risk breaking his ankle, falling off his high horse. Playing in the weekly cups, usually. But, $1,500 for the World Team League. Does, um, tempting. And also, the best competition. Here comes Oliveira. Helium Marine timing into the third. Four and a half minutes, and the Zerglings are nowhere to be seen. And neither will be the drones after they get roasted. Marines picked up. Driven back. Hellions still covering. Queens, good spread for Cyril. Hellions coming back in for more drones. Medivac, the, the Queens are all over the place right now. Able to minimize the damage, but somehow both sides actually did somewhat. It was a lot of damage, but they they both come out of it without. Well, that was that was a that was a joust right there. It's a fencing competition. I think point for Oliveira here. I have no idea how fencing works. Um, you're not actually... I think you're supposed to stab him, but not like it. Not important. Uh, Oliveira comes in. Kills a round of drones. Gets his medevac out, his marines. But Cyril was being quite a greedy goose here. But he had enough queens to make sure the damage wasn't even greater. But Oliveira kept the medevac alive. That means the Hellions make it into the main and the drones. Not happy about it. The ones that live. The rest, uh, don't worry anymore. Four more drones, and Oliver gets out. Yeah, like I was saying, he's proven he can hang with the top-tier players, if there was any doubt. And, and you know what? Before and after that day, there was a lot. But Cyril is still Cyril. Cyril still uh, uh, effectively undefeated, except in Zerg versus Zerg. I believe he's lost in in tournaments maybe two out of 
40? I, I am just making up numbers now, but it's a very... He's lost maybe one or two out of 40 to 50 series against non-Zerg players. So, just... The machine. He's been dismantling Terrence since... I would say since 1998, but I believe he's... No, Cyril's about as old as Brood War, so... 25. Oh, another attack coming in. This time, Widowmons to compliment, but Cyril trying to drag the Widowmons into the Metavax and succeeds. We've seen recently against Clem. Widowmons definitely a Zerg unit when Cyril is involved. Still a danger that must be respected. Not design-wise, but their effectiveness. But at the same time, you can't be intimidated out of attacking. And uh, Cyril certainly is not. Oliver is so active on the edge of the edge of the creep here with the Metavax. But Cyril is not inexorable and in spreading him. The double double. They gotta drop on the right flank. Still the Metavax on the left. Bane speed is done. 1-1 one, one on the way for Oliver. He's got it a little bit quicker. Uh, about equal with Cyril's plus one carapace, but plus one melee is a long way off. Cyril trying to defend one, two, three, four, five bases. And so far holding on. Another attack on the left flank. The Queen's holding the line for now. But the Marines are cutting through it. Tearing apart the Queens and without anything else. Okay, some Zerglings are coming up. He picks up into the Metavac. He gets out. Oliver played a beautiful game so far. Cyril's still boxing out on every side. This is some top tier game. Did gameplay? Do top yes, top tier skill. Not commentary. That much. That much is lacking. But uh, what I'm trying to say is both these players are playing so incredibly fast and high level right now that they're actually not finding that much damage against each other. Serral's objective is to hold on until he can get an overwhelming amount of units. He can split off for a counterattack. Whereas Oliveira is keeping him at bay until he can uh, go for a potential knockout blow. Or at least whittle him down even more. He's got 2-2 two -two on the way. And I think Oliveira is mostly successful at his task of keeping the Zerg under control here. Oh my. Oh my. The Widowmonts just splitting. Split. I'm not sure if he's retargeting. If this. Oh no! <laughs> Whatever he did, he may want to repeat it. Sarah looking the wrong way. And the Widowmon looking the very right one. Depending on what your perspective is, at least. And that Widowmon hit may blow the map wide open. As all it takes is one. And suddenly, Cyril now clearly losing ground on all fronts. Attack on the left, driven back with the little mines connecting. Kill six more drones. Olivero, 73 to 76 workers right now. More than enough economy to compete with Cyril, who's now adding on a hundred den. He's got plus two melee, plus two carabers, but significantly delayed compared to Olivero's 2-2. On the ground yet again. Mines, Marines, Medivax, a whole lot of Medivax actually, 11 of them right now, which arguably too many Medivax, but he's been doing such a good job of keeping him alive, only lost one so far. Explains the odd number. What a Mines will burrow, good spread. Marines more than enough to gun down the remaining number. Upgrades are still even for here, but Widowmine connects. He morphs some Banes and then helps them survive in one form or another. Drilling claws on the way, but Olivera presses the issue. He's going for the throat right now. Another mine hit. Bane links taken out, but I... Oh, beautiful targeting by Olivera. Able to take a few more Banes, but Cyril fondly musters the, musters the forces to draw him back. I was not ready for how action-packed this game would be from the start. I did expect a little bit more um, warm-up time, but Olivera came in swinging. And he's still going. A little bit of a reprieve, but this is Olivera realizing, you know, I've got 2-2. Two -two. I've got an advantage here. Uh, I've continually been able to drive back the creep, keep the pressure on. I have an opportunity to maybe actually take him out in a baneling nest. Oh, Baneling rather. Takes out a big group. Widowmind takes out a big group of Banelings. We got there. But the Marines are just too strong. The Medivacs in the back line. Without Banelings, those Marines could live almost indefinitely. The Medivacs and the Minerals in the right spot. Hydras. One Medivac down. Hydras on the field. The, the last phase of DPS 
of this mid-game army for Serral. Something that could actually take out the medevac snipe off the widow mines and pick up part the marines. But at the same time, Serral's creep spread is driven back almost to his bases. Olivera's doing such an amazing job of keeping it all the way back to his hatcher. Now, well, more drilling claws mines are gonna burrow. Take out big chunks of zerglings along the way. Biting off a few of the marines is Serral, and the hydras are closing in. Muscular augments already done. Hydra speed, able to close the distance. And Serral, for the first time in what seems like the entire game, actually, is able to go on offense. <sighs> he bends. He bends. But he doesn't break. And despite all the immense pressure that Oliveira has been successfully applying throughout the map, it has not been enough to keep Serral from getting towards 200 supply. Hydrolink Bane and now threatening a full-on attack. Widowmine dragged in, takes out the Metavax. Hydras get one as well. Overseer coming in. The bio ball looking a little thinner here. Old position. Maybe setting up somewhere else, but a Liberator shows up. Queen isn't enough. Liberator's on multiple bases. Olivera not giving this up yet. Okay, okay, okay. A slight reprieve as both players tech up towards the late game. God. Well, this is an amazing game so far. Baneling mine. Sarah. I mean, decent scout as well. <laughs> Ghost Academy. Hive. Both in production. But Olivera not laying off the pressure here. Sarah just trying to reconsolidate. But Olivera is relentless in clearing the creep. And Cyril just as unforgiving in driving back the Terrans. And Olivera with a lot of units over to the left butt. Cyril going towards the heart. Supply depots being ripped down. We don't mind the burrowed. We'll get some big hits on the Hydras, but most of them still intact. Reinforcements came back to defend the base. Which means Cyril, you can already see it on the minimap. Olivera gave up some ground, and now Cyril's retaking it. Big Bane hit. Connects directly in the center mass of the Marines. Olivera keeping up an insane amount of production. He's able to keep his supply high enough to actually outstrip that of Cyril, who's on 93 drones right now. Some of the most high economy get 4,000 minerals per minute. And he's spending all of them. Hive. We have Hydras, Adrenal Glands, Vipers on the way, Ghosts hitting the field, Liberators being added on, plus two ranged attack, and Ghost cloaking. <sighs> Coming in again, Oliveira, the Creep Tumors, there are no Creep Tumors on the left. Barely any on the right. If there's one thing that Sarah has not been able to really replace, it's the Queen count. The Queens are just not finding any opportunity to get out there. Even a scouting SCV, good job, Fred. Keep it up out there. Keep sending in those reports. Another big flank, but the ghosts. The core of this army. Maybe a little exposed right now. He picks him up. He gets him out. Hey, boys, what about that evac? But at the same time, he might lose the fight on the right, but he kills the hatch on the left. The Olivera. Another tit for tat. And still no closer to a conclusion. Serral still maxed out. Liberator finds 14 kills over to the right. I'm not sure. Some of those may have been... Um, it's unclear. The battle two minutes long. Not sure what's going on with the resource lock tab there, but... A good mix start. Oh, huge twiddle mine hit. The ghosts on the back line providing so much extra damage and potential. The moment Serral turns his back, the ghosts will line up their shots. They're still going forward, but the reinforcements. The Bane Link's on the way. Links and Bane's overrunning the ground. Olivera's able to pick up and get out yet again. How many Metavax still on the field? Seven. But many of them badly bruised from their continued engagements. It. Fusion Core. Certainly for advanced ballistics, but one can dream. Sarah is consuming the moving spore. The mobile battery pack. He brought his power bank with him. The Widow Mines. One takes a shot. Not too much to blunt the force of the Zorglings and the Bailings coming through. Get over here! Knocks out a set of ghosts in the back. 
sniper from downtown. That was actually a huge snipe there. Gets the medevac and four ghosts. So, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Okay. Everybody calm down a little. So, still can't push back. Oliveira is playing some of the best Terran versus Zerg, especially considering his opponent I have ever seen. And I keep saying that, but like, the players are just getting better and better. It's, this is ridiculous. They, it's so at risk of sounding uncultured, strategical, as it's clear what both players are trying to accomplish. The constant it's like chess, if both players just could beat each other with the pieces while moving them with their other hand. So with his trademark burrowed infester, he knows the best counter to ghosts is ghosts themselves. Both players slowing it down a bit as the latest game unit compositions come online. A necessity as the minerals start to dry up to uh, find it. <laughs> you can no longer afford the massive attrition rate that you've been experiencing. It just doesn't work anymore. Especially for Cyril. Cyril needs to pick his battles now, as he's starting to really run out of options against the late game Terran. Oliveira has held every counterattack. He's pushed forward towards multiple bases. And now he's calmly and comfortably transitioned. I, I honestly, just the, these 15 minutes have dispelled all doubt for me. Oliver de deserves his championship. He should be considered one of the best Terrans. I've never seen Cyril under so much pressure. You say, well, he hasn't won yet. Well, that's, a, that's an achievement few unlock. Oh, the Liberator Siege. What a beautiful spread. But a fumble from the high ground, and he gets the goals! Cyril from below! Oh, that wanted fester! He didn't get everything with it, but he got enough. And he undercuts. Only the Liberators survive awkwardly here. So Olivera is still able to maintain this position, but without that fungal. And that half dozen ghosts. That, how many? How many? Six ghosts down. Oh, right on the money. Um, without those half dozen ghosts going down in the core of the army. Could have gone so much worse. But Cyril's able to dismantle it for now. Yanks out one. There's still a Broad Infester out there. He uses Infesters like a, a special, like a sauce. Whereas, like the difference between Dark and Cyril is for, for Cyril, uh, the Infesters are a sauce or a spice that he adds into his army um, that gives it flavor. Whereas for Dark, they're essentially a side dish that he picks up off the table and beats his opponent over the head with. Like a, like a ceramic bowl or something. But here comes Olivera, calm, controlled, overlapping, Venn diagram of freedom liberation push. But Cyril, just as calmly dismantling the liberators. Olivera, his supply dipping a bit. Some money in the bank, maybe deciding what to do is it gonna be more ghosts point blank snipes the ghosts aren't able to close the distance one two medivacs taken down still trying to target the ones that the ghosts get into doesn't quite find them all of keeping it up okay lurkers they have they have range done with uh, adaptive talents on the way lurker speed and speed barrel the next phase of danger Cyril's taken both corners somehow he's managed to establish hatcheries on both sides and hold them against despite everything he keeps up that expansion the one thing, the creep spread. The creep spread still suffering. Sir only has four queens. And without this creepless Zerg, is definitely it's a lot more tenuous. 
Oliveira definitely feeling more comfortable moving out onto the map. The Liberators siege up a little far forward. Widow Mines not killing enough of the Lings and Banes to protect the Liberators. And Oliveira stepping too far. Gets chopped down by the Hydras. But a drop takes out Cyril's base. I, I assume this hatchery got taken out as well. So missing two bases in the top left. Cyril expanding like the AI right now. Takes it down. No cancel. Cyril didn't cancel in that half second. What a noob. The main base is dried up. The natural's gone. The third is uh, suffering from permanent mineral drought. The ghosts. The medevacs have not healed these ghosts. A lot of them going down. There's really not that many medevacs left where once there were plenty. Now Cyril sensing weakness. Just slices through with the lurkers, eviscerating the front line and pushing away the forces that are protecting one of the most important bases here. Oliver, not just for his body, but for maintaining a staging area. Another set of ghosts go down, and Cyril is now up 190 to 143 supply. The income has shifted heavily in his direction. Oliveira has won so many battles, but Cyril looks in pole position to win the war. I'm not sure what, what went wrong. But Cyril's cost efficiency in these late game battles, while he's losing more minerals, he's actually lost less gas. So throwing Zerglings into the fray for the most part. So that way his Lurkers and Banelings and Vipers can get the real work done. The Lurkers still moving forward. Lings and Bane providing cover. All the way down to 130. Not able to keep up on the production. He's got 1300 minerals in the bank. He spends them now. But Cyril really embodying the Zerg here. No matter how many you kill, it feels like they come back with even more. Lost a thousand Zerglings. And I'm sure he'd throw a thousand more in if he thought that was the play. Oliver now. How many ghosts? One. That's not very many. They feel... Uh, Oliver's just ran out of gas. Literally and figuratively. Cyril now, slowly but surely, re-creeping. Retaking bases. He's pinned Oliver back. What is down there? A burrowed Bane scout? Oh my. He wanted to. I think I, he doesn't kill them, I don't think. The plus three armor SCVs. He considered. But only one Bane lane. Overlapping Liberators. But Cyril is set up. This is the only real army. There's a set of Lurkers to the south. As Cyril keeps expanding. Wow, that overlapping Liberator line. Advanced ballistics done. That is an intimidating amount of liberators. Cyril expanding while the refineries are still intact. The Oliver is taking that top left. A bit of a desperate siege line here, but still a tough one to break. There are three vipers in the field. The lurkers are dismantling the defenses. Well, if he's too strong on one side, it's very likely he's weak on another. Basic strategy here from the finisher. And the Zerglings are coming in. The Liberators are trying to resiege. But the natural is exposed. The Zerglings are slipping through. Cyril not going to commit his entire army. But instead split off groups of Zerglings. Gets into the main. Can burrow them. Gonna be such a pain. Anything to keep Olivera busy while Cyril winds up for potentially a game-ending attack. He's so aggressive on expanding. It feels so truly Zergla. How Cyril plays. Just, you give up any ground and there's a hatchery there. <laughs> Infester. He killed all the potential... Uh, I don't know if there were any turrets, but there certainly aren't now after that attack. The Infester, though. 
He gets the fungal wombo combo! That ain't Falco! Oh my god, Harrison and Bob on the stacked up Liberators! Cell comes in, rips out the core of the Liberators. The vile army retreats to the natural, which is not where you want to be. 26 minutes into such an arduous match, and Cyril holds on. <sighs> he turns it back. I can't even pinpoint a moment where it went wrong. But I can tell at the end, it certainly went right. God, it's so good. I don't, oh my. I don't know. It felt like Oliveira was making great progress. From literally the first attack. The first couple medevacs. The Hellions and the Marines. Cyril had almost no creep spread, which is just... Incredibly, like... You think of creep spread as the indicator of how well Zerg is doing. Well, Cyril had essentially none. For much of the game. Yet, had no problem... Well, creep is a crutch, says Cyril. Um, it, you shouldn't require creep spread in order to attack. It just takes slightly better positioning. Like, uh, technically true, but... Okay. Well, now what? <laughs> now we live in a world where that game happened. About as, as classic of a macro game as you can get. Those are the best games, obviously. The, where you can't really point out. There's no point where you can be like, Oh, that's where Oliveira screwed up. No, Cyril just... Takes the fight. I really think the key is his, um, the way he's able to prioritize. And you can only really see it. Oh, for us mortals, we have to use, like, the units lost him. But Cyril losing less gas than a Terran. That is an impressive feat when you constantly are throwing Banelings and Hydras and Infestors into the fray. And the Terran army doesn't cost much gas, really, at all. But the fact is that Cyril... He was losing a lot of units, but they were mostly Zerglings. So, all his Banelings were remarkably cost-effective. Uh, the Hydras were kept alive to great extent. Not having to replace those, they're actually quite gassed. The Infestors! Incredible value. The Infestors sealed the deal in that game. In fact, the Infestors really started to turn it around. I, if I had to pinpoint... It was the, uh, Burrowed Infester helping take out the group of ghosts at the bottom right side there. Uh, allowing Cyril to kind of dismantle the army much better than if he had those to contend with. That's a road for him. I know my buildings. I can tell you with great authority. I don't have to read. Neither can I. But... Roach Warner. So, that begs the question. Huh? Are we doing a, are we doing a Roach game? N wait, no speed. Okay, I was wondering where he was getting the gas. Oh my god, I wasn't paying close enough attention to see if he cancelled speed. And went for the roaches, which, I mean, you get all your money back as long as you cancel right before it finishes. But either way, 10 ro- wow. Did you know you could afford 10 roaches off of just one gas at four minutes? The more you know. Meanwhile, Oliver is going for 3cc with a raven and hellions, which is some of the least equipped to deal with exact- oh my god, he's hitting them so well. They're just He just takes a slight detour. Oh my god. He's gonna see him. Wait, oh, at the, the mission! He sees a roach. But the Hellions! Uh, boys? Um. Oh, this is awkward. 
There's now literally nothing in between Cyril and Olivera's base. Four roaches against all these hellions. Roaches getting a bit distracted by the chew toy depots here. He even moved to a reactor. He doesn't- he can't build a banshee right now. It's a disaster for the world champion! <sighs> Sal says, try it twice. <laughs> Wow, this uh, they could not stack up much worse. So it's still taking a sweet time getting up the ramp here. If those widow mines manage to burrow, nope. He gets it with a corrosive bile. Just one ravager. One's enough. Oliveira, not giving it up yet. When you have three CC, you're never out as a Terran. And we're gonna be jousting yet again. Depots up and down, trying to bait some of the roaches in. Widowmine still in tech. Hellion. Sarah with the most minimal list of, of very high damage attacks here. Just throws 10 roaches. Morphs a singular Ravager. The Ravager is taken out. Good targeting. Oliveira here microing his heart out with this Hellion. Roaches is going home. Enjoying the sauna, as many Finns do. Well, <laughs> he scampers home with four out of ten roaches. Oh my god. Morphs and over- well, the Overseer comes out in full HP, tanks a Widow Mine hit. Wow, that- He wasted a lot of hits on the Command Center. The Command Center is in the orange. Wasn't really paying attention to that, but... The fact that it's so- maybe he was just trying to stay on the high ground and bait out more, but... So now, wow, 70, did all that, now 73 drones and slamming roaches. It feels like it didn't do that much damage. But he did keep Oliveira very busy for uh, two, three minutes. Barely lost anything. Slowed down all the production. Barracks four and five are quite a while out right now. So that means his production is, is far from, from comfortable. Roach drops. Does he even have speed? This is a slow Sloaches and a slow Who does that? Like, but why? <laughs> why not? So been messing around with the Ovi drops. Like, <laughs> 171 supply. One one is closing in. Sarah doing the Stefano play. Two supply of roaches. He's gonna have it. D he did a roach timing and is still going to max out before eight minutes, it looks like. Or very close. Yeah, he's gonna lose a few roaches, so that's gonna cut into it. But about eight minutes maxing out, he contaminates the factory. He's going to lose the attack at the front by a pretty large margin. But the SCV... Oh my god. The real damage. Gonna be dealt by four roaches in the main. And without a siege tank or anything. He's scampering around. Delay the armory. Oh, that's annoying. My god. Roaches really ripping, uh, living up to their name. Coming in again. Slow zerglings. He's almost insulted. Oh, gets two medivacs. Gets a siege tank. Gets the marines. Gets the SCVs and Oliveira before I finish the end of this dramatic sentence. A pinnacle caster sentence. Let me say the correct words. Let me say what we all know is coming. He fights it out, but does he get the game? Cyril. Wow. An execution. Game one, a back and forth struggle where Cyril eventually turned the tide. Game two, a master class. Wow. The four roach drop. <laughs> Special Agent Roach coming in. Plus Overseer Contaminate Air Support. One of the most underutilized abilities in the game. 
surprisingly effective in the right, not even that surprisingly effective, but very hard to use in the right scenario. But Cyril makes it a center point of his cheeky strategy. <sighs> like, so the problem with the game is do you balance for the best of us or do you balance for the rest of us? And at the end of the day, Zerg has always been incredibly difficult to play at the highest level. The APM requirement gives people carpal tunnel just thinking about it. But when you're able to successfully accomplish all the uh, detailed housekeeping ca tasks that Zerg requires, and actually execute counterattacks or set up uh, multi-pronged flanks. Oh, it looks so good. There's been discuss like there's been a handful of players in the past. A single digit. So, like one hand or two hands. I guess it could be two hands. Wait. Is it are you counting each player off on a finger then? Like Cyril, Beyond, Maru. I'm trying to think of any Protoss who have may maybe parting. Though, Dark and Rogue, well, Rogue, with his championships and his, well, Rogue outright said Zerg was Imba after winning some championships. This is before the Great Cabal patch, which resulted in Oliveira's championship in a TVT over more. <laughs> but the thing is, especially about Cyril, like with, with Beyond and Reapers, it was Beyond and Reapers. Like, uh... In the past, it was things like the Mothership Core, or Infested Terrans. But with Cyril, like, what, if you were to nerf Cyril, how? So here's the crazy thing to me, is that first game, that, that epic macro game, Cyril just didn't build any queens past the first bit, really. He had six or eight, as every self-respecting Zerg will, but I, I was immediately going to go to queens. But Cyril played most of that match with a minimal amount. I guess they did keep him going in the early game, and that is the real struggle, is how do you give Zerg an early game defense without bringing back Brood War Hydras? Okay, what I've tried to say is make StarCraft II Brood War again. I'm reverting in my old age. I never even played Brood War. I just think it's fun. Um, I did not play Brood War until after playing StarCraft II. I don't know if that's heresy. But here we are. What I'm trying to say. No, I don't remember. Anyways, moving on. All right, uh, like and subscribe for my early onset dementia treatment. Uh, I keep my mind sharp by watching three Terran forum rants a day. So I know exactly how not to think. Overlord wanders in as it does, glides menacingly. It's coming right for us next week. <clears throat> Oliveira has three CCs. Getting a banshee this time. Noticeable difference. I see you. I see you. Uh, after that. There is on the way. That is uh, on the quicker side for sure, but not so quick. It doesn't look like well, I'm getting two more guys. Baneling, nest, likely baneling speed. Classical macro. Everyone getting involved over here at the top right. Cyril going for the five minute fourth hatch. But the Hellion count is high enough to threaten the Queens. Burning through a couple. Not on the creep! Oh no, Brenda, where were you? Wait, my Queens. Halfway across. Wait a second. 
The Hellion's get what is happening? <laughs> no! Leave no survivors! Oh, shut up, Susan. You know we can't catch him. Double Evo Chamber. 1-1 one, one is on the way, Oliver. We're gonna have an advantage in the upgrades. He's got 50-something SCVs and counting. So they're all up to 70 drones. The Raven gonna help out a lot with the creep. Hopefully, like... The ra so, the Raven, obviously, and incredibly... Brenda, get back here! It's dangerous to go alone! Oh, very quick hydrogen. So the Raven, of course, gives you mobile detection and a lot of other utility. But also, it can be killed by Queen. So... That is the prevailing issue. Cyril calmly surrounds and kills the Hellions, leaving the Raven feeling a bit impotent. As without the Hellions, it's much harder to do anything about the creep at all. Ah. There, well, the queen's not able to get the raven. The marines now, they do have stim, but 1-1, one, one, not quite there yet. Now working his way through. Double medevac picks up some more. Gonna drop it out. Raven's still intact for now. But Cyril already has 80 drones. He's going on base number 5. The Queen Brenda. There you go. Creep spread is getting somewhat intimidating. Oh, they've not been able to keep up the pressure this time around. We'll see. Is that better or worse? Because in game one, he spent so much on scans, so much time just trying to clear the creep. Uh, with the Raven, of course, it's a lot easier. But, um does take a bit more attention. Cyril still has pretty much all his queens alive. Only lost the one. And now infestation pit hydras, groove spines, muscular augments already done hydra speed. A priority. Speed everything. We're all about closing the distance, getting up close and personal. And when it comes to uh, being personable, Terrans know that the opposite is prefer preferable. Depot wall at the third, looking good. Fourth is landing. Look out. A little bit of creep spread around. Or a uh, creep drop from the overlord, did not. <laughs> Ooh, suspicious. Where did it go? Must have been the wind. <clears throat> Groove spines now done. Both players nearly maxed out. 1-1 one, one upgrades. It's time. This game, a, pa a relatively passive experience. The, um, about as close as you'll get at this level to a no-rush 200 supply. So, plenty of units going down, but nothing... That will impact the speed well before 10 minutes these players max out. Widowmines getting big hits on the Zerglings, but here comes Cyril from the back. Baylings coming through. The Marines, there's nowhere to go. Or is there? Call an ambulance, Cyril. But not for me. Because I have ambulances in the sky and I have siege tanks and Marines on the ground. Cyril tries the huge flank, but the timing was oh so slightly off. And that means Oliveira lives through it. And plenty of Marines, actually, as well. In fact, Oliveira killing twice as many minerals, trying to respread the creep here. He does lose a, a whole lot of Marines and those siege tanks. Ugh. 
Cyril rebuilt a high. There were a hundred Zerglings in the production tab. The moment that battle was ending. Little mind being dragged out, but big hits on the front. Marines standing their ground, maybe a little too boldly. More Banelings coming through, another one down, but the Marines line up yet again. And they're off the creep. The Hydra's forced to retreat. Another wave of Banelings is being produced, but what are the Queens caught? And killed Oliveira, holding the line and pushing back. Now here we go again. Liberators will siege up, overlapping siege fire. Widow Mines on the ground. Underground, rather, more accurately. And without anything else, the Marines in full retreat. Cell's production is overwhelming. It Banelings crash into the third. Gets nine SCVs. Cyril, you cannot let up a moment on him now. Adrenal glands on the way. Clears up the mines on the field. Another set of banes. Everywhere. Just banelings everywhere. A hundred zerglings on the field. And a few dozen banes. Adrenal glands. Plus one ranged attack. So winding up for another. Creep is about to encroach on potential expansion locations for Olivera. He's got ghosts in production. He's held his ground so far, but Cyril still at 200 supply. Really no reason to wait any longer here. Widow Mines. Trying to drag him into the Terran army. So far successful. Overwhelming the front lines. Siege tank doesn't know what to shoot. It's a bloodbath. Scouting burrowed banes. Honestly, probably the best use, but... <laughs> Oliver can't seem to get that supply count up. Cell just keeps battering him. The medevacs are so badly bruised. Is there a viper? There are two vipers on the field. For most players, I'd say, okay. Cell, two vipers is a game-ending number. He's so diligent with those spellcasters. Plus three. Widow mine. Decent hit. Looking for Parasitic Bomb. Oh, Blinding Clouds on the tanks. EMP lands, but it's too late. The Metamax looking for something to heal, but the Banelings are crashing through and giving him nothing. And JG, Serral, just got some. Three zero. Not like Oliveira didn't play a great series. Some of the best Terry. I've ever seen. But not good enough. Cyril is a, a machine. I don't know how else to describe it. It just feels inevitable. Even when you win a fight, it's not a win. Like, <laughs> it's a delay. Oh, so one of the most exciting matches that I've seen, but at the same time, predictable. Cyril takes it 3-0 over the world champion, showing why he's the two-time. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the World Team League for sending out these matches from the Kung Fu Cup. Make sure to check them out whenever you got the opportunity. And, what? 1,000? 1, 1,046. I think we'd do it. For the three world championships between them. But thank you for watching. Hope I made your day a little bit better. Good luck. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.